In June 1950, the Republic of Korea became the 55th member state of UNESCO. Unfortunately, only days after joining, the Korean Peninsula suffered the outbreak of war. In the aftermath of the conflict, UNESCO offered Korea hope for a brighter future. In the aftermath of the Korean War, Korea was in desperate need of help from the global community. At that critical moment, UNESCO provided the country with precious aid in the form of primary school textbooks. The generous support by UNESCO and other UN agencies enabled a whole generation of Korean children, including myself, to continue their education in the face of great hardship. This is how, in Korea's darkest hour, UNESCO gave us hope for a better future. The seeds of peace planted by UNESCO 70 years ago helped Korea to grow into a prosperous democracy. Over the past decades, Korea transformed itself from a recipient of development aid to a significant donor. Today, Korea is a key partner of UNESCO, and together we aspire to change the world for the better. Korea is an ardent defender of equal opportunities for education and growth. We partner with UNESCO on its Global Citizenship Education Initiative, empowering learners to become responsible global citizens. 대한민국은 아시아, 아프리카에서 또 다른 교육의 기적을 꿈꾸는 나라들을 돕고 있으며 세계 시민 교육과 지속 가능 발전 교육 등 미래 세대에 꼭 필요한 교육 의제를 선도적으로 이끌고 있습니다. Korea is a dedicated supporter of UNESCO's efforts to preserve the natural, cultural, and intangible heritages of humanity for our future generations. UNESCO has taught us that the heritage of war and division can turn into a strong foundation for future peace. The historic joint inscription of traditional Korean wrestling, Serum, as a UNESCO intangible heritage, marked an important step toward peace and reconciliation on the Korean Peninsula. We hope that the demilitarized zone, currently a symbol of the division of the Korean Peninsula, will one day become a heritage of humanity and a powerful symbol for peace. And UNESCO is determined to do all it can to support the path towards lasting peace on the whole peninsula. But I'm also thinking of the demilitarized zone, which today is a symbol of division, and that could become a space for peace and cooperation, for nature and biodiversity under the label of UNESCO. This would send a strong message of hope not only to the Korean Peninsula, but also around the world. Korea aims to strengthen its partnership with UNESCO in order to face future challenges together. We firmly support UNESCO's important initiative to establish a common global foundation of ethical principles in the field of artificial intelligence. We stand together with UNESCO in our response to the global coronavirus pandemic. And we will make every effort to counter hate and discrimination in this time of crisis. 70 years ago, Korea became a member of UNESCO to join in the efforts to build a world where peace is firmly built upon the intellectual and moral solidarity of humankind. 
70 years later, that aspiration remains our guiding light. We believe that strong solidarity is the only way to overcome global challenges, and all the more so in this time of an unprecedented global health crisis. As a committed member, Korea stands ready to continue contributing to UNESCO's founding cause, advancing international peace through education, science, and culture.